everybody, and welcome to week three of Tableau Tutorial Tuesday, where each week I'm challenging myself to create a two-minute video tutorial of a way that I use Tableau to elevate my dashboards. So this week, I'm going to be showing you how to create a table with custom columns in which we're allowing our end user to select which columns they would like to see in their table on their dashboard. Now, this is useful when you have a stakeholder who has requested a table with a large number of columns. Not only is this not performant in Tableau or what it's built for, but it also becomes very difficult to consider consume the data as we end up having to scroll left to right in addition to up and down and we no longer know what we're looking at. Now, there are multiple approaches to doing this, uh, each with its benefits and limitations. I'm going to show you one of the simplest. I'm going to jump into this dashboard and show you how to create a table using measure names and measure values with a filter on measure names. So if I go into the worksheet that has this table, you can see I've built it simply by dragging measure names onto my column shelf. I've dragged measure values onto my text, and I've dragged this model year onto my rows, which is how I want to slice and dice my data. Now, by right-clicking on measure names in my dimension shelf and saying show filter, going over to that filter and using a multiple values dropdown, and then going over to my dashboard and adding both this worksheet and the filter, I have added a table in which my end users can select only the measure values that they want to appear, making this table much more customizable and consumable when there's a large number of options. Now, one of the limitations to this approach is that every measure value that appears in my data set that hasn't been hidden is going to appear as an option in this drop down. So if that's going to be an issue and you can't show your end user every measure value in your data source, you may want to consider using a different approach. Thank you for tuning in to this week of Tableau Tutorial Tuesday, and I hope to see you next week.